Hello. So it's been more than a year since I have dived into the audiophile uh, hobby and it has gotten a little bit too over but regardless I still want to do this because a lot of people have been asking me why do you have so many IEMs? Why do you keep buying them? That is because I wanted to find something that suits me. Personally, I have reached that goal, but I don't really want to talk about that today. Today, I'm going to talk about the thing that started it all. The BLO ones. So, let's begin. So overall, before I talk about anything else off of a tangent, I just want to say the BLO one in its most general sense it's one of the best bang for the buck if you're gonna say something that costs that much which is under 30 bucks 30 us dollars if i'm not mistaken and also under 100 ringgit i think you can get it for like 70 to 80 ringgit at shopee and for iems in that range to be honest that's gonna be a lot of hit and misses but this thing actually performs very well this is what my friend actually recommended me and i fell in love with it the moment that i got it but as with all love stories, as with everything, there's gonna be its ups and downs. So now let's actually dive into a little more in depth. So before I actually talk about this again, let's 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 give it a little 30, 30 second rundown of the unboxing experience, even though I've lost the stock cables because the stock cables suck. This is the box. When I first got it, I'm like, wow, look at this box. It's actually quite detailed. It looks so analytical, so technical, so professional. And when you open it up, it's gonna show you your two head shells here and inside here you're gonna have your accessories you're gonna have your accessories which is the canvas pouch some butt bits hope you get a reference and the stock cables that to be honest i i really don't know where it went it kind of sucks i do not like it it chases my ear when i'm wearing it so you know that is it so again before we talk about the sound i'm gonna talk about this iem in general this iem shifi can make something like this in metal this is very premium. This feels very, very premium. Even some things from the upper class don't even use metal. They only use resin. It's kind of like the Moondrop variations because my friend has the variations back then and I'm like, wow, this thing is built like a tank. It's actually quite nice. Until you wear it for two hours. Not to say that it's not good because you really feel the weight. You really feel like this thing actually has quality. But one thing is that if you're gonna wear this for hours it's gonna just remember that there's gonna be a nozzle that's gonna be going into your ear canals and just dangling there for hours so imagine having constant pressure inside your ear canals it's just gonna hurt and speaking of that we can just segue it into fit a lot of people do not like the BLO ones because of the weird shape that it has some people say that they don't fit them at all me it's okay but again a, a really really gentle reminder your results may vary now in terms of the sound for the price again i will say it's very worth it but before i say that uh, let's just give it a general rundown it is a very v-shaped iem lightly on the warmer side i would say mainly because it has more bass but then again this is just a very good iem for the price you are getting a lot out of your money for this mainly for two things that i can think of like i mentioned it is a v-shaped iem i'm not going to show you the graph because you can only you can only see so much from a squiggly line itself so i'm just gonna say my listening experience to this after using it for quite a while and i did have a revisit of it a few days ago so that i can properly evaluate it because i have uh, new equipment so these are the things that i use again a very quick rundown um jm20c i tested that true full bar and also you guys know i listen to vinyl so i pass my vinyls through the smsl sa6 which is a very neutral uh, amplifier quite nice so now that you got a rundown of what i use to test with let's actually talk about the things that i like about this so my first listen i can still remember it to this day this is the thing that won me over because my friend also has a blo one when i listen to love is the message by use of days with the blo one the bass hits very very aggressively the thumpiness that this thing brings makes me feel like wow i have never heard something like this before and this is coming from a guy that used to use xiaomi piston butts so yeah and that is the first thing that i would like to talk about for this price range good bass there are good bass there are shitty bass this has decent bass but for its price point it's actually quite good i can't really argue with that jumping to the opposite spectrum from bass to highs 
this thing has very good detail retrievals. Tones, technicalities, I would say it sounds quite decent, I guess, because the BLO3, in the end, we all know that it has very, very good tonality. It is famous for its good tonality. The detail retrieval in this for this price bracket is actually quite good compared to other stuff that actually does not really have that good detail retrieval. Like for instance, I will talk back about the CCA CRA. It has a very pleasing, fun V-shape for its price bracket. It's literally a no-brainer if you just want something to listen to for fun. But the detail retrieval in that is a little bit lacking compared to this. And this is where I feel like getting this is actually quite worth it. As with all things, there will be caveats to it. When I say good bass, I was referring to that in the sense where I just got this IEM. After I tested other IEMs, I realized that it's not really that good. So one thing that I have noticed from actually testing, so one thing that I've noticed, uh, I'll give you an example. Mac Miller's third song in Swimming, which is, what's it called again? I, I, cannot, I cannot remember, I just listened to the whole vinyl as one take. I just, what's the use and her feelings? These two right here give me a very good idea of what is bass bleed. So regarding the bass, even though it's good for this price bracket, I will say this, if you guys are content with this IEM, do not, I repeat, do not listen to anything else otherwise you're gonna get disappointed because personally after getting a very good IEM my friend let, let me test the arias that time and from what I can listen I finally understand one term that everybody was talking about for some time even though I had no prior experience to it bass bleed bass bleed by its definition is literally the bass is so much to the point where it covers other parts of your song which is something that i will be talking about right now it goes to the mids and one more thing is that this thing does not have good mids i'm gonna be honest listening to certain tracks like for instance again mac miller swimming i always use mac miller swimming to test because i have both the flag and i also have my vinyl on vinyl i don't know why mac's voice is just so recessed i wouldn't say so to a point where it's very it's just to a point where you can sit down and you can realize that why is max sound kind of in the back it feels like he is not in front of me right now something like that and that also applies to a degree of songs like that why didn't i notice back then is because when i first got into this iem hobby i mainly listened more on instrumentals i guess everything from yusuf days everything from tom mish fkj's masego's literally anything that has a lot of instrumentals and back then if i was listening to rap music which y'all know i like it yeah mainly the bass hits hard and i yeah i just vibe with it i only i only care about the lyrics if i'm listening to rap music i don't really care that much about other things back then so this thing is good but it's not really that good if you want to listen to something that emphasizes on vocals but other than bass bleed and also the veil mids i can't really talk about anything else that is kind of a drawback or you should think about before buying this. Oh yeah, and also one more thing, like I mentioned, the fit. But yeah, this is about it. Again, conclusion. The good things about this is, of course, the good base for its price point, and it's very good detail retrieval. I feel like I feel like I can still continue to emphasize about detail retrieval because the amount of detail retrieval on this is actually quite phenomenal for its price point. The drawbacks about it is, of course, the occasional base bleed and, of course, recess mids. And how will I recommend this thing to you? It's very simple. If you like instrumentals, I would totally, definitely recommend you the Biolo ones if that is something that you fancy. The detail retrieval, again, I, I like to emphasize on this because this is the one thing that won me over. The detail on this is actually quite significant. It is, I wouldn't say bright, but it is very, very enticing it's it insinuates everything that is around me to the point where i'm like i need to revisit every single song that i've heard before because i have never felt so immersive before because the details you don't need to focus it just comes to you there's a difference between focusing on something because you know it's there and something that just presents it out to you because it's there and the biello ones is the latter so yeah take that if you yeah take that info if you want but anyways this is it for my comprehensive review on the biolo ones sorry if this whole video is still very like jumbled up like i can jump from here to there because this is literally my first actual audio review but i will be doing more because i have stocked up a lot of iems thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next 
video like and subscribe yes i am that shameless now and maybe i'll make a i'll make a website make a audio blog just to let you guys read i don't know it's gotten long enough let's start the video right here